Do not discriminate against my citizens and other African citizens, Nigerian government warned China. And Cross River State Governor Ben Ayade doesn't think the extension of the lockdown is a good idea. This is Plus Politics, and I am Felicity Ezewike. You're welcome to the program. The federal government has accused China of racism and discriminatory practices against Nigerians and black people in that country and has said it will not accept any form of discrimination against Nigerians, its citizens and other Africans residing in China. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Geoffrey Yema, stated that the government will be working with leaders of other African countries to take definitive steps against China. He said although the Chinese denied the allegation, complain by maltreated Nigerians and video proofs have supported the claims of discrimination and racism. Joining us for a conversation on this is... Williams Wallace, President, African Development Goals Initiative. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much, Felicity. Now, less than two weeks after blaming poor communication for the tension that arose from what they described then as alleged discrimination against Nigerians and other Africans, the federal government is now accusing same China of racism and discriminatory treatment and issuing threats. Help us understand what's playing out. Well, I mean, it's quite plain to see. The Chinese are very good at deception, lies, 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 and they cannot hide lies anymore. Modern technology has really shown them up. Everybody has had cameras. Everybody has been able to send back reports to their home countries. Congratulations to Guinea and uh, Ghana and other countries who are taking the initiative and the bull by the horns. Nigeria, yes, as the leader of the African continent um, and the giant of Africa, has begun to realize that they cannot put their head in the sand anymore and start to take steps. What is happening is that now all the arrangements is beginning to unravel with most of the countries in Africa. They're seeing the Chinese for what they are nothing more than thieves and scoundrels and, you know, uh, deceptive liars, and they have a plan and they have agenda, and it's been revealed. Okay. People now realize that they want to grab lands, they want to produce fake and fraudulent documents, uh, they want to take the resources out. That's why they're building, you know, uh, major ports, rails and roads. That's most well, of what you they're interested you don't, in doing. I, 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 would, I would rather we don't make um, um, accusations that we are yet to have concrete <laughs> proof on. Um, so let's focus on some of the uh, issues that are rising from this. What do you say to uh, comments that the Minister of Foreign Affairs should not have if issued that first statement um, on the matter when it first um, uh, broke without due diligence, which it seems he is now applying? Well, I, I think the, the, the uh, minister, like all ministers of foreign affairs, had to be diplomatic in the first instance because he was waiting to get facts. When he got facts, he was able to now move to the next stage and say, this cannot go on. But in the first instance, most foreign affairs ministers of any country will try to be diplomatic. That's their job. After that, and they've got proof, which he had, he had to now act. He could not hide it and it could not be hidden anymore. Let's look at the minister's reference to comments in public domain that the ministry is somewhat held hostage in its reaction by the many economic cooperation uh, from China in the past. He denies that this will factor in any way in the federal government's pursuit of justice uh, in this matter. Do you really believe him? Well, it's... Uh... His statement, but the facts are very clear and glaring for everyone to see. All African countries have entered into, uh, you know, hanging debts, very steep debts with China. And because of that, they are trying to walk cautiously. 
trying to walk a very thin line and satisfy the populace and hope it will blow over, whilst at the same time making sure they don't step too much on the toes of China. Well, China doesn't care. China has already uh, done what they have done, and that is provided you with the loan, and they will extract, like Shylock, their pound of flesh. Um, it is for the African continent and all the African presidents to get together, either with the AU as a, or as a forum themselves, what I will call the African Presidents Forum, and re-examine all those debts, cancel them, revoke them, and start all over again. Uh, in the meantime, ask for reparations, because it cannot go on. We cannot talk again, keep talking about China and what they're doing, and don't implement some solution. Start doing what they are doing to us. Uh, and what, what exactly is that? Well, all right, for example, they are maltreating our people and they are grabbing our resources. Should well, we be we blamed start... it for tax? You, are you suggesting that we should start maltreating as well Chinese citizens in this country? No, is that all diplomatically is that, correct? For example, for example uh, Guinea arrested them all. Show me your documents. Uh, we are going to deport you uh, and bring back our, our, our citizens. That's tit for tat. I'm not saying to employ, we are not as animalistic as they. We are not going to be kicking people in the streets, but let's do it legally. Uh, they have no right, some of them, to be in the country. Look in South Africa and other places. They are actually defrauding the IDs and the driving license. And they told the police officer that they made it in China. They don't even speak the language, but they are holding IDs, etc. So that, that's just to show you. Uh, hold them all, examine their documents. Those who are there for valid reasons, they can remain for the time, and then send the rest back. Start sending them back as uh, they are kicking our people out. We kick them out too. That's the thing for time. Well, how, it should not what be damage, what, what, uh, what, 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 what points would we achieve? Um, if we're, I actually didn't want to focus on that, but we need to clear. What points um, are we going to achieve by creating even further friction than what is already there. Shouldn't we be the bigger person in this matter and look for diplomatic no, solutions? No, no, no. Oh, listen, Felicity, uh, Africans have been apologetic for too long during slavery, during colonization. We're not going to have another adventure in Africa and be apologetic and be nice. No, there's no time for that. Uh, 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 there is agendas that are being unveiled. Africa has to wake up, which they have done now, and they have to act. They must act. It's not right. about being talking the bigger about, person, the uh, talking about bigger acting. picture. We must act. There talking are many illegal now. mining farms, uh, ownership of land that uh, they ripped off people. We have to stop these things. Otherwise, we are going to lose our country. All right, let's talk about act. Let, me, let me interject, um, uh, Williams. Let me interject and ask um, this. We're talking about solutions now. And one of them that has been put forward uh, by the federal government is the direction to the Nigerian consulate in uh, Guangzhou to detail all instances of discrimination and losses as well as damages suffered by any Nigerian that's proven. And pay reparations. Such, can, can you hear me? Yes, I'm okay, saying, so yeah, I'm I'm, saying, I'm saying that such, such that's violations, all on the diplomatic he said, level. I, I'm on the actually practical not level. true. Uh, yeah. Such violations, he says, uh, will be pursued with the Chinese government uh, if it requires compensation or damages. Will there be a commitment to this, especially with the many distractions and disruptions being caused uh, by the coronavirus pandemic? Right. Well, th th that to me is a long term, uh, very much a distractive uh, element and being very diplomatic. And it's all nice. Felicity, that's nice. We're all human beings and it's all nice. But we are not treated as human beings. So therefore, we have to show that we are militaristic as well, that we are staunch, that we will stand up for our people, and we take actions. If we don't, look at what the Guineas did. If we don't do something like that and start arresting these people and trying to get and exact uh, our uh, uh, people's uh, compensation and treat it well, humanely what, and of, fairly, of what, of what it will just be taught. You keep saying arrests check their document. Of what purpose will that be in this matter? What will it solve? That's the question it I've been asking. Quite a lot. It will solve quite a lot because what will happen is that they will now realize that 
the continent uh, united will challenge them at every instance because there is too much laxity in the system, Felicity. Too much laxity that they are getting away with. And I think if we start to stand up and be disciplined and say, right, let's keep examining every move you make, because that's what they're doing to us. In uh, China, they're going into your house, pulling you out, throwing you on the street. Doesn't matter that you're paid, that you're studying, you are not having access to any hospitals, nothing. Listen, are you forgetting what you have seen? I, 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 we, we cannot try to be nice in an instance like this. I think the days for being apologetic, I've just said it, is over. Africans have to stand up and show them eye to eye, eyeball to eyeball. We are not afraid of you, and we will exact the same thing. So it when means we exact, we will what, what scenario do here. you see? What scenario and, do you and, see? And if you're here legally. Williams, what, what scenario do you see when you say exact the same punishment? We are moving, we, we don't live in an autocratic or military uh, regime in this country. We live in a democratic uh, setting for now, as we know it. That's what we are creating. Wouldn't that be contrary to the tenets of democracy? And no, what no, exactly, no, no, what exactly no, it, will be the spillers for us? Uh, Having in China mind, of course, that China has been very beneficial to us. What? I said, having in mind, of course, that... The, the, how, how much of the question did you get? You said uh, they have been beneficial to us. What has been beneficial to us? I mean, they've, they've given loans. They've helped with construction. No, it's we have not, partnerships. Because none of the loans are fair. If you examine the loans... The loans are a, a, a millstone around the necks of all the African countries. What That's these people have done, the they've examined our weaknesses, you, sir. and That's... they've come and offered loans at ridiculous rates, right? And knowing fully well that the countries cannot pay them back in the time okay, limit don't, that don't forget been there. don't forget what you're trying to say but i need you to be clear on this because if we're advocating you are actually advocating that we should uh, do tit for tat to send a strong message after this message yes. is sent what then becomes of this country and china what will be the benefit for africans going forward if that scenario you are painting should be followed well, uh, one, the Chinese will start to respect Africa, not just Nigeria. Don't leave it only to Nigeria. Uh, uh, it, they will start, uh, uh, the, the continent, they have to start respecting that it is no longer business as usual. And Africans are going to ask questions and are going to also exact their own um, uh, uh, penalties. Call it whatever you want. Call it penalties, call it... Uh, uh, exacting uh, tit for tat? Yes, because that's what they will do. If you hurt China, China will hurt you back. So is it that Africans must lie down and die? No, Africans must stand up and be manly and say, no, you cannot do this to us. And our governments will be there to back us up. Okay. And our legal system is not about democracy. It's about legality. What is legal and what is right? You can't walk in and do whatever you want. Look at how many pictures you see of what they are doing to Africans in Africa as well, not just in China. Come on. All right. We let's, have let's, to let's, let's look at, at let's, look at, let's look at uh, the minister, what he said. Um, he, he was talking tough. And he says that the government will be working with leaders of our other African countries to take um, very, very decisive steps against China. As it stands, yes. many say we owe too much to China to antagonize them. Is there any truth in this? And should the government, uh, the presidents come together, what will they do? You see them achieving much? Well, they will come together, and, and if they come together in honesty, they will now say, this cannot happen, that cannot happen, and put a framework together of how they will engage with China and anybody else, not just China, any other country. How do we engage as a continent with the rest of the world? But first and foremost, the pressing problem is China. There's others, France and others, but how do we deal with China right now? We must put a framework together that we must all agree, sign to, and say enough is enough. If you're engaging with us, you're engaging with us as fair trade, 
you come and you respect our laws, you respect our country, you respect our people. And those must be some of the fine points that Africans uh, must unite together in a framework to exact, you know, uh, the uh, relationship that they want with a country like China. China well, wouldn't take any nonsense, so why should Africa? Um, you, you said we should be realistic, so I'm going to ask you this. Considering the role that China has been playing in Africa, I mean, for a couple of years now, we know that they have major stakes, um, some countries are indebted to them. Do you see a cooperation, a united front from all these African countries to tell China that this and this is exactly what we want? Yes, that is if they have the uh, where it all to do so. It's either they get the African Union to uh, do what they should be doing, and that's working for the, uh, for the good of the continent, and that is uh, all the African states, or they themselves, if they feel that the African Union cannot do it, and they are now brave enough, strong enough, they form themselves into a forum and put a framework together. Uh, one way or the other, a united front has to be developed. And a united front has to talk with one voice. Because if they don't, they punch holes into their weak ones. No, together, united, we are stronger. And that is what China has done, and many other countries have done before. Singularly use all the weak countries and go to them with, uh, with money, uh, because they know they are in a begging bowl situation, take their resources, give them debts that they cannot repay. But together, if they were to pull all those loans together and re-examine them and say, well, <laughs> this was not a fair contract. You know, there are things called fair contracts. Has anybody really looked at all the contracts and all the loans that were signed? Uh, what happens to the African Development Bank? You know, what happens to the AU? They should now be playing a role. They, this is the time for them to step up to the plate and say, right, let's examine what our individual countries have signed, and the African Development Bank as well, look at what they have signed and say, no, from a banking point of view, this was wrong. This is an unfair contract. This is an unfair loan, unfair debt. Revoke it and let's start again. All right. Um, do you believe the Chinese government statement that uh, they have concluded plans to protect Africans in their country and they will no longer tolerate any form of discrimination against Africans? Absolute nonsense. When they said it the first time, what happened? The beatings, the throwing out, the refusal to eat in restaurants and uh, admit to hospitals continued. They came with their tokenism, flowers and... Uh, some meals, uh, and of course, Africans rightly rejected it because that was just a show. That was not for real. They've said that, and all of the diplomats, Chinese diplomats, said, oh, yes, we're going to do something about it. But they did nothing. It continued, and if you look at the viral videos, you see how many uh, Africans were being beaten, kicked, you know, I mean, come William, on. You, you, you certainly don't, don't, don't sound like you have any sort of love for China. So what should be the no, federal government? No, it's not government's, about love for any uh, country. It's not about love. It's, it's for protection of our people. I have to stand on the right of our people. I can't have love for anybody else, but first have love for our people. If I don't have love for our people, then I am playing to the gallery with the uh, others. No, so what should be federal government's um, <laughs> our relationship? What should they be considering um, in our relationship with China post COVID-19? Well, they, just like I said, like uh, the continent, examine and re-examine the relationship, re-examine what they are doing, how they are doing it, um, if they have had unfair contracts and loans, etc. Re-examine it and change it. We have to engage in our fair footing. And everyone, everyone, onlookers, Europeans, Americans, everyone else have said, Africans themselves, that when they've looked at it now, look at what Tanzania said, it was only a drunk person would sign some of these loans. The uh, president of Tanzania has revoked it because they've realized that they're going to be uh, 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 servitude to these loans and debts for the rest of their lives and the children's children. No, re-examine, re-examine our relationship. There are other people around the world that we can relate to. Is it only China? And we have the resources here. Why don't we have a single currency? Why don't we have our resources and use our resources as, uh, as our own, rather than using it as uh, 
collateral for loans that we cannot pay. Look at what has happened because of the economy and the pandemic. And as the rest of the world is about to do, they are going to sue uh, China for reparations because we've had an, a world economic collapse and the oil as well. And what is happening? <laughs> the, uh, the companies are being bought off by China and the oil they're storing, their oil for security, at under $10 a barrel. Come on, let's get real. We All know right. what's happening. We know um, what the game is. That's the point of uh, this conversation, so we can uh, share information and you can share your thoughts as well on the way forward. Thank you very much for joining us on PLOS Politics. Thank you from Africa Development Goals Initiative. We are looking to set the agenda for African development and for African goals. Well, we'll take a short break now and when we return... The governor of Cross River warns of a repercussion in the instance of an extended lockdown. This is up for conversation. Stay with us.